We were traveling through different parts of Kenya, training kids in STEM knowledge and robotics. We'd meet deaf students, but only one interpreter is, you know, serving them. I think it just showed me how this community has been left behind. My name is Eli Savatia. I'm a 24-year-old uh, social entrepreneur and a technology entrepreneur from uh, Nairobi. And uh, I run a social enterprise called Signverse, which is a technology uh, company that specializes in research at the intersection of sign language and technology and bridging communication gaps for the deaf and hearing community. We've built a software called Tab360 that interprets spoken uh, voice and text to sign language, and it's powered by AI, uh, motion capture, and automated 3D avatar systems. Most of the tools back then were pretty much, you know, video conferencing tools where you'd have an interpreter hop on a call. We started doing research on how can we now use frontier technologies like AI to bridge these communication gaps, making it as close to human. From the articulation with the signing, you know, the facial expression, so we wrote a Python script that now did landmark detection that could detect, you know, A, B, C, D. But then the challenge that came was that I think the only data sets that existed publicly were pretty much more American Sign Languages, British Sign Languages. So the challenge now is how do we create a Kenyan, you know, Sign Language data set? Then we won a grant from the government of Kenya that we fully invested in motion capture systems. So now the problem for data sets was solved. We could now work with deaf people, have them come to the office. So after they wear these suits, we have them sign specific words and phrases, collect all that body data, then of course process it in a specific format. Then now what our platform does is input text and speech, then it pulls a motion that plays in the avatar. So the challenge for motion capture now was it was an expensive journey to undertake. Just recently, we've been uh, named among the 20 organizations that have been selected in the 30 million Google Org Accelerator. It's going to help us now leapfrog in terms of the research that we're doing internally, making it more efficient with data collection. Uh, so we have a target of a million signs. Persons living with disabilities just need to be given the space and the tools that enable them to live their fullest potential. So for a young deaf person or a deaf person, what that means is, do they have the tools that enable them to interact with the world independently? It's really rewarding to even see some success stories. One mantra that persons with living with disabilities share is that there is nothing for us without us. Yeah, because it only makes sense that they are actively involved into shaping what a solution looks like for them.